Searching for answers, we head to Zonanale. There are so many Syrian refugees on the boulevard here in the southeast of Berlin that they themselves refer to it as Arab Street. What quickly becomes clear to us is that no one here is sympathetic to the perpetrator. He's dangerous and he ensures that people will think badly about Syrians. Hats off to the two Syrians who apprehended him. They did the right thing and I would have done the same. The Germans have welcomed us into their country. We've come here for a better future. We escaped war and chaos. We certainly don't want to bring the destruction here. The fact that so-called Islamic State terrorists are active in their new home country worries many people here, including the customers of Abeda Marouf, who runs a Syrian supermarket. Still, he says he feels safe here in Germany. Since I arrived here, I've forgotten the sounds of bombs and war. When planes fly overhead, they're clearly not combat aircraft. Diners in this new Syrian restaurant also appreciate this. The fear of terrorism is everywhere, but here in Germany, I'm not worried. I feel safe despite everything. Refugees want Germans to feel secure with their presence, despite the terror plots of other Syrians. This restaurant owner remains optimistic. Germans are intelligent and civilized. They have a long history. They don't judge an entire people because of the actions of a few. They have a lot of experience with war and treat everybody the same. In any case, the events in Leipzig made an impression on people here. They can help prevent attacks. All those planning destruction have people close to them, and they're aware of what's happening. There are many of us, all from the same country. We're best positioned to help stop these plots. The police can't do it alone. As we leave Zonanale, it's clear to us that the courage of the two men from Leipzig have left a strong impression.